to the bus station here by Tulay Las Days. I'm gonna get our car to pick up our mice. My scooter to go get the vehicle. How's it going guys? So on my way to pick up my hairless mice. So really excited to have quality mice instead of you know buying it from a Petco uh, similar type uh, industry here in Spain. And uh, these are from a reputable breeder down south in Malaga, Spain. And you know, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about how transportation and how the law here is in Spain. So unfortunately, it's banned to ship any live animals. That includes mice, that includes insects, anything that's live is, is banned 100%. You cannot ship live animals. <clears throat> and if you get caught doing so, then you're gonna get in big trouble and you're gonna get fined, both you and and, and the courier. So what's happening in Spain is that you have all these individuals that have made you know businesses or companies and they are dedicated in logistics so they basically it's like a it's like a private uh, private uh, it's, it's a private career. Uh, they'll make routes throughout the month and you know uh, this day will be uh, doing or making this route and then the next day we'll be making this other route and basically uh, whatever is the closest to you you just got to wait until that day um, and you have to find a meeting point and all that is coordinated with the with the private courier so they'll pick up your animals you know uh, and you have carriers all throughout Spain so it's it's not like you're gonna use the same carrier for all your all your locations so you just have to mix and match uh, basically, they'll pick up your animals and you'll you'll meet in a certain location and it's really expensive. So just so you guys know, I paid uh, 70 euros, uh, 70 euros, which is probably equivalent to like 75, 80 bucks um, uh, to get my mice uh, shipped over to me. So that's about four or five mice that I'm getting. And yeah, once, once, uh, so, it, and it's a whole day thing so i've spent all day today i spent all day today just to get my mice um i've had you know i don't have a car so i had to rent this car i had to go to a city big enough where i can rent a car um so it's a it's a whole day thing so just to get these mice it's a whole day thing and you know as you know mice are not expensive but these mice were because they're from a reputable bro uh, breeder that does a good job and on top of that is that they're they're hairless you know so hairless mice okay guys well I'll keep you guys updated in this video hey guys I'm here in uh, just a general animal store and uh, the, the substrate for mice is very important that you don't use anything that has any kind of perfume um, it might not be bad uh, for the mice but if you're using them as feeders for your snakes then that's really bad because it can be toxic especially you want to stay away from any kind of substrate that doesn't say what what it is what what it is all it says here is that it's very absorbent it's hygienic it's uh compostable and it's 100 vegetable and non-treated so um if it doesn't say what kind of what, what kind of what it is don't use it all right guys so we got the substrate all nice and ready so we're just using the same uh, bedding we are for our snakes. Uh, just to keep it neutral, you know. Uh, we don't want anything anything toxic in our mice because they are going to be our feeders as well. So the babies that we get from our mice are going to be be feeders. So I just have them on this food for now. But we're waiting for our, our other food to get here, which is a premium um, rodent. It should be here this week. Uh, that's just so, you know, to get them started. But yeah, guys, this is exciting. Uh, next time you'll see this, it'll be full of mice. So let's go get our mice. I got the car right there. That's the car. And let's go pick up our mice. Vámonos. We are here picking up our mice. Let's see where these people are at. They sit in a white furgoneta, so let's look for a white van. Is, is it that one? Uh, white van. I saw it white. You saw it white? Yeah. They said a white for Guneta? Uh, uh, El lado de la cafetería. 
on the side of the cafeteria. Did you see him? Is it there? Well, I Why are we running? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Guys, so we realized that they're on the other side of the highway. So we're going. So we're running. Let's go, let's go. We got the new family members. Cuatro, four little rascals. How do you feel, Esther? Good. Good? All right, let's go back up this wicked. Jeez. This instead? Yeah, here, un unclip it, unclip it, and then put it inside the, and then put it inside here. Well, okay, go. Now oh, watch out, he's gonna, we got an escapee. Go, go, go. Yeah, they're pretty good size. Well, they're not exactly hairless, so the big surprise that I have for you guys is that reduced hair mice, or what? Yeah, reduced hair mice. I don't know that. Name. I don't know, guys. He doesn't want to go. But look at him go. We got our new project going on here. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Good job. Nice. There you guys are. Your new home. Run. You guys are smelly. Well, guys, and we're back into breeding mice. So, yeah, hairless, hairless mice. Just because hair is made out of a protein, it's compacted protein, so how keratin. They, how, do they make them how? I think genetic selection. I don't know. It's a good question. How do they get hairless mice? And obviously, hog noses can't digest hair. You know, it. obviously, we've been uh, feeding hair, hairy mice to them. But, you know, anything to give them an edge is better. So, hairless mice means less. It's easier on their, on their digestive uh, system. And we're excited. We're going to let them get accustomed. And, well, thank you for watching, guys.